Good morning, dear students. Hope you all are enjoying your winter vacation in your home. Today, I am going to tell you some mental math question, and one by one, I will read the question, and you will. I hope you will understand the question very easily, as I was doing in the classroom, and you feel that you are sitting in your own classroom. So let's start the class. Number one question is. Number of days in two weeks are days. So how many days in a week? Seven days. Seven days. Now here in the question, how many days in two weeks? So you will multiply seven by two. So the answer is forty. Forty. Very good. So the answer is forty. Now come to the next question. The second question. August comes in between. And it means here one blank is here and one blank is here. So when August will come, start from the beginning of the month's day. Start January, February, March, March April, May, June, June July, August, August September. September. It means when August will come after July and before September. So the first month is July, July, and the second month is September. I hope you all get my points. Now come to the number three question. The season when it is hot is called. Which season is now going on? Winter. Winter. How you feel that this is winter season? You are. You are cold. Yes, very. And what happened when the season is summer? We feel hot. So the answer is summer because you are feeling hot. Hot. So the answer is summer. Now come to the number fourth question. Every has. Days in a leap year. Leap year. How many days in a February? Normally, how many days in a February? Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight days. If the year is leap, just twenty twenty-four is a leap year. So, how many days in a leap year? If the one, if uh, the year is leap year, then how many days in the month of February? That is twenty-nine. Very good. I think you all know about everything which I am going to teach you. Very good. So the fifth question: Half an hour is equal to minutes. First of all, tell me how many minutes in one hour? Sixty minutes. Sixty minutes. And here in the question, what word is here? Which word is here? Half. So it means you will minus from sixty. How many minutes you will minus? Half minute, half hour. It means. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. If you minus thirty from sixty, the answer is the answer is thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. So the answer is thirty minutes because one hour is equal to sixty minutes and half hour is equal to thirty minutes. Now the next question is one decade is equal to how many years? Hundred years. Hundred years is century, not decade. So the one decade is equal to ten years. Okay. All right. In our next, uh, in our last GK question, you all learned that century is equal to hundred years. So here is decade, not century. So don't be confused by century and decade. Decade is equal to ten years. Now come to the seventh question. A cube has flat faces. How many of you have ever seen a cube? Is it you have ever seen a cube? No one. This is a cube. This is a cube. And how many flat faces are here? See how many flat faces are here? One, two, three, four, five, six. So how many faces? Six. A cube has six. Six. Flat faces. Flat means जो चीज़ सपाट हो, जो चीज़ समतल हो. That is called flat. Now,
number 8 a dash has only curved face so if you will count how many shapes you know how many shapes cone sphere cylindrical rectangle cube so in these all shapes which one have a curved face only one that is sphere that is sphere s p e h e r e the sphere a sphere has only curved face now come to the question 9 all faces of a dash are rectangle so a cuboid has all faces which are in rectangle shape so the answer is cuboid now come to the number 10 question clowns i don't know all know about clown no but have you ever seen a clown no joker 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 having a cone shape cap so the clown had resemble meaning of resemble that shows the solid shape solid that shape so what you will fill here cone shape what you will fill here cone cone shape so you know any cone yes clown cap like this so which solid shape it resemble it shows a cone shape so the answer is cone shape now come to the number 11 question a cube has how many corners a cube has so here here one cube in my hand so if you count the corners 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8, 8. 8. so how many corners in a cube 8 eight corners now come to the question number 12 the next number in the pattern is 1 4 16 is now the question is which pattern you will follow here 1 1 4s are 4 4 4s are 16 and 16 4s are 16 Four. So the answer is sixty-four. Here the pattern which you will use to solve this question. You will multiply four by four, sixteen into four. Then the answer is sixty-four. Now come to the next question. The next question is you will write four hundred ninety-five in words. Means you will write here four hundred ninety-five in spelling. So what you will write? F O U R four. Good. F O U R four. Then hundred. H U N D R E D hundred. Very good. Hundred. And then ninety. Five. F I V E. Five. Good. Now here your answer is completed. Four hundred ninety-five in words. You will write four. F O U R four. H U N D R E D hundred. N I E T E D one ninety. And F I V E. Five four hundred ninety five. Now come to the question number fourteen. The weight of a mango is measured in dash gram or kilogram. How many of you? The favorite food is mango. Mine. Mango. Yours? Yes. And you also like mango? Okay. So mango is my also favorite food. So the weight of a mango is measured in gram or kilogram. So which one is the correct gram or kilogram? Kilogram. Kilogram. And kilogram is the 
biggest unit of mass. Mass biggest unit is kilogram and the smallest unit is milligram and gram is the basic unit of mass. Now come to the question number 15. 530 is read as 530 is read as 530 is read as what? Half past 5. five. Very good. Half past 5. You will read half past 5. five. Now, the last question, but it has two parts. So, the number one part is, one meter is centimeter. So, one meter is how many centimeters? 100 centimeters. 100 centimeters. And, one kg is equal to how many grams? 1000 grams. Shabash. 1000 grams. So now here you all you all will write this these questions in your maths notebook and when you will come after the winter vacation your copies will check by your teachers.